Hello. I'm going to use a little break in the rain to patch up my vertical garden a little bit. Well, this one's getting ready. All right, this is our succulents garden that hangs on the wall during the summer. And for the winter, I have it horizontal up here so it can get access to some snow and keep it moist. It's actually looking pretty good, but we have some big uh, dead spots here or empty spots where one of the hens and chicks matured and it went to seed and then the center died out and it left the ring of the smaller ones. And so I need to fill those in to just keep it looking nice. So I'm gonna take some out of this new pot and just put them into the, the open spot. So Let this down here and button it up a little bit. find the chicken wire mesh Some of this moss is really looking good down along here. It's, um, it's getting to be a good mixture of moss and the uh, hens and chicks. In the spring, I pull a lot of this dead stuff out of there too. Actually, I do that throughout the summer when it needs it. The, the outer layers get crowded and they tend to die off and dry up. It looks a little bit messy. So I pick those out. They just pull out really easily. And that gives a little bit more space for the surrounding plants to get a little bigger. So I'm going to add some to fill in this hole, and I need to fill in this hole right here. And there's, as you can see, there's a dead, a dead one there. It just they go to seed, and then the the base dries, dies out. So I need one there, 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 and yeah, maybe something up in this area, maybe something right in there, and up on the edge. That one there, that looks like it's seen better days so I need to tuck something up in there I need a little bit more along the top you can see the potting soil settles down uh, and the downhill edge it's nice and full but the top edge has gravity working against it so I have to tuck new soil up in there occasionally and spring is usually when I do that sort of maintenance on on this particular item just going around and Picking the dead chunks off. There's a big dead chunk. So that's going to leave another another hole. This one's got a lot of dried fringe around it. Oops! Broke off one of the one of the chicks. All right, they don't hold that against you for very long. Tuck them back in there and they'll reroute in no time.
And there's some Amur maple seeds. Pick those out when I see them because otherwise this is going to try to turn into a vertical bonsai garden with Amur maples. That's the donor tree right up there. a dead piece there and there's a dead one okay that's the worst of the the dead stuff I I pick at this all summer long so it's not necessary to get every little bit of winter crusties off of it Okay, I'll put this back on the tripod and use two hands to pick pieces from here and put them into the empty spots and we'll have a look at the finished the finished product. I really like the looks of that one. That's, that's a very cool variety. You can see I try to get a good variety of colors in here. And, uh, I don't know, I like the way it looks. Get a quick view of what this looks like now after a little tiny bit of spring cleaning. And then we'll put it up on the wall. We'll get a look at the back of it here. Okay, be sure not to step on the hostas. This is what the back side looks like and you see the little D-rings on the corners. And you just go on these little screw heads. I've got some wood shims just like you'd you know, cedar shims you'd use in installing a, a door. And I put that behind it. Just so that it's a little tiny bit further out at the bottom than at the top. That way it can catch some rain. But when it's in vertical mode, it still requires a lot of additional water because that really dries them off to be hanging like that especially since it's under the overhang of the eaves from above now I'm going to just gently rinse it off to get some of the dirt off of the surrounding ones That's all it takes for a little bit of spring cleanup on the vertical garden. Thanks a lot for watching. PFO Channel out.